everyone, it's Boomy. Um, this is gonna be a quick, a quick stream. You know, I usually stream for like maybe 30, 40 minutes. I don't know, maybe it'll be that long. I'm, I'm guessing it'll bite me maybe be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, so I have my phone on me just in case anyone comments or has questions. This stream is related to, let me lower my volume first. Okay, so this stream is related to something that I kind of look for when I work with gamers or when I'm playing with other people in general. I'm very fascinated with cognitive functions. I'm fascinated with how people um, perceive and organize information. And you can kind of see it when people play video games. You can see it in certain games in terms of how they organize their inventory, you can see it with how they're gathering things and how they're building for their huge projects. And so um, this is just a brief example, but I'm sure you can start seeing it in other games that you play or other um, streams. If you don't play yourself, you can watch people, um, especially in games like Minecraft. I love looking at how people organize and build. Um, that's a big one for me, I think. I'm just very fascinated with how people think and see the world and how they... Um, you know, visually manifest their cognitive preferences, and so I'll just show you how I organize, and this is my, um, <laughs> my, uh, fashionable, uh, monk. You can tell that her gear is, um, I'm just picking up gear. She looks terrible. <laughs> she looks terrible, but I, um, I have fun playing with her. Um, let me just log in. Yes, I'm going to be talking about bags and your bank. So um, you'll have the pleasure of looking at how I've organized or have not organized my stuff. And um, this is a very vulnerable moment for me, but I figured it, um, you know, what a great way to show how I process, maybe how I don't process. Let's see, I haven't logged on in maybe three months. Um, oh, this is the bank. So I haven't logged on in about three months. And so we will see if I've organized my stuff or not. So here's the bank. So I'm in a guild. There's also a guild bank, but I'm going to show you my um, own inventory. So let's start. Well, since Owen talked about bags, let's talk about bags. So my bags are right here. Um, I don't know how to open all of them. It's been a while. So these are my bags and looks like that, you know, they're scattered in different locations. And I usually organize things by um, usefulness. They're um, right. So I I'm kind of um, sentimental on certain things. So I have a like I'm level seventy something right now, but I have this this thing, this tabard from a low level quest, and I I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons. So if you watch someone um, <laughs> crafting bag. Um, so if you see, I might have, I might have that, yes. So if you see, um, you know, there's, there's cloth for different things. I try and organize in terms of cloth, old gear for sentimental reasons I might wear just for fun. Um, I have an, a, not an obsession, perhaps an obsession with achievements. So I know there's something related to how many types of foods and drinks you can have at a time. So I'll probably buy different foods from the different locations that I go to and um, sample them so I can get my uh, achievements for the game. But then I realized some characters have already gotten them. Uh, let's see. So there's just some things I haven't done yet with my bags. And then there's some things like food. So in this game you can cook your own food. I have not leveled this specific skill for this character. Look at she's level terrible. It's up to like 800, 900. I don't know what the score is, the skill level is yet, but you can tell this character has a very low level type of cooking. So in my head, I have this sense of possibility and think maybe in the future she will learn to develop <laughs> bags inside of bags inside of bags. Yep, that's a thing. So I'm hoping in the future this character will level it is bag inception <laughs> i'm hoping in the future this character 
will learn how to level up cooking because it's I think it's fun to cook. You can get you can make a little side like a campfire and just create foods that will improve some of your skills and get bonuses for things but it's also fun just to make things in the game because the food is kind of cute too so there's different reasons for why people want to level up and keep different items that they're not using yet so it's about the future and planning so when i think Light of other people's you. um items the way they store stuff so i don't think this bank is a good example it looks like she has no slots <laughs> she has nothing um, and this stuff is from when you were like level one to level 10 um, so you can tell that since my character is level 70 so far. Oh, I should I should wait for Thanksgiving. Thanks, that's a good idea. I'm looking into tips on how to level skills because it's been a while since I've been consistently playing and not really sure when to level which skill. So thank you, Owen. Um, so in terms of my bank, it looks like that I'm a terrible example for how to organize information and items because these slots are not even purchased. So you have the capacity to have more slots, to store more things. And it looks like uh, my character is not the type of character to store things. He's just not very... Yep, I'm <laughs> it's the lowest level stuff. I don't know what she was thinking. Maybe she wanted to level um, jewel crafting in the past. I'm not really sure anymore. But it, you can see that there's this disconnect from the present and the past with this character. But also, I haven't been playing for several months and... Um, don't really know what I want to do with this stuff now. And there's these recipes for alchemy and enchanting, which she is not. She's not an alchemist. She's not an enchanter. So you can tell I'm a little bit scatterbrained with how I store what I need and what I don't need. It's always a question of um, what if. Maybe I need it. Um, and that depends. Like a lot of people level multiple characters at the same time. So it could be extended to, again, that question or thought of possibility. Some people have multiple characters that they're leveling they want one enchanter they want each character to have a certain skill and maybe this other character is going to be the enchanter this other character is going to be the alchemist so you save all these recipes these are recipes for your um, different skill sets and maybe this certain character itself does not have the skill to do it so you save it and you forget which character you want to send it to so you think about it and save it for later and so it kind of builds up and it kind of becomes a big mess over time, but that's okay. You know, that's part of the nature of being an uh, online hoarder. And then if you go to your guild, your guild might have slots for things too. Um, so it's divided by general goods for this guild, materials for making things, food, food items, stone, leather. I'm a leather worker. Um, and then cloth items, cloth items. I think for me, I like, it's called transmogrifying. It's called, you know, the way you um, change your appearance in the game. And that's fun for me. I'll probably make another video on that. And for me, that's about possibilities, about playing um, dress up and playing pretend. And I know a lot of the female characters love doing that. And a lot of the male characters, all genders love doing that because it's an extra perk. It's like, so if you look at my character now, she's just a big mess. Um, the gear does not match. It's just whatever she could pick and find with the best stats to, you know, be as as powerful as she can and efficient with her skills. But right now, it's, it's not matching. And then for people who are more leaning towards um, having their character look a certain way, it's fun to collect gear that you can potentially use to swap in the future, even though it's not the right statistics or the the... The item level that you need it just makes it look funner and and more more creative it's another creative outlet for you they call that the skittles mug <laughs> i guess so um, thanks for the the vocab i did not know that so in terms of um you know mental health therapy and clinicians who might be working with a video gamer or someone who plays a game like minecraft or World of Warcraft, games that have inventory, the bags, the boxes, and the slots. I think it's something to consider when you're delving into the world of a gamer. You can actually see how they're processing information. So I'll use an example for me. I gather everything at one time. Um, I'm not discriminating on what is important yet. So I don't know what's important yet, so I have to gather everything. That's kind of like processing very quickly, taking in all the information 
and not knowing what you're going to do with it yet, but it doesn't mean that you don't know or where you're going or not have a direction. So for me, knowing that I process in this way, I know that it would feel kind of judging or judgmental for someone to think that I am scatterbrained, even though I kind of honor that part of me. But to hear someone else call me that, you know, it would hurt sometimes to think that I don't know what I'm doing. And maybe I do need extra effort or extra time to process information. So it goes back to learning. It goes back to problem solving. It goes back to maybe conflict skills when someone is being thrown a bunch of information to know that let's look at your bags. Let's look at how you organize information. Let's look at your bank and your um, your chess in Minecraft. How are you taking this information in and are you as organized right away or you do you need more time to process and filter? Let's say that you know someone has a big mess in their bags like I do and yet they know where everything is. It's kind of like a, you know my, my website, organized mess. It's an organized mess and yet somehow the person knows exactly what to use and when. Hey you know, it might not be as, as uh, cleanly organized or aesthetic, but somehow the information can be pulled when you need to pull it. And that's kind of my thing when it comes to people who cr- kind of process or um, absorb information differently. It's just different. It doesn't mean it's less efficient. It doesn't mean it's less um, superior. It just means it's different. So if you can learn a lot from someone just by looking at their bags, you know, taking a peek into who, um, their world, maybe a house that they made in-game, wherever they decide to store information, what does it look like for them? And can they learn how to access that resource? And that's the most important part See for you me. Later. So I think that also, one more thing I wanted to think about before I log off, um, I was thinking about the term of hoarding. So when you're playing a game like this, a lot of us do hoard in the game. It, it's just a joke, but it's a, a tendency for us to just not have enough bag space. We might even start our own guilds to store all the extra stuff in in the game or we have a hard time letting go we make extra characters to send each other you know all the overflow it, it, it's not that much bag space and it's not that much uh, bank space for what we have when we were playing for years you know if you're a gamer and you love your game you're gonna be playing for years probably and after a while you're gonna run out of space and so that doesn't mean that you don't know how to manage your stuff and you're just unorganized it just means that you know there's a limitation to where the bag space can take you and that's just normal for a game like this and i think that when you have someone who potentially could hoard it's a really cool exercise to try with someone to slowly sort through your items to see what do you need and what do you not need what can you say goodbye to and that's kind of like how um, behavioral therapy or coaching can you know take baby steps towards someone working through things that could be potentially hard i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's really cool that you could (laughs) yeah it does mean bigger bags like what's the solution if you can't have the bag space right now what are you going to do and one of the solutions yeah get bigger bags and then if you have someone in real life who has a problem with letting go of things you know because um it's not in with every case not with every person But grief and hoarding could be related to each other, you know, um, not learning how to say goodbye to stuff. It could be related to hoarding and not, it's not always the case, but it's something to look out for. And if you have someone in game who is having a hard time saying goodbye to all their items and not knowing what to sort through, just asking these questions can help, you know, taking baby steps and supporting them with learning how to delete stuff, giving things away if you can and learning how to use your resources to make something useful out of it, not just holding on to stuff. There's all these strategies you can use when you have a gamer in your life and you're working with them to actually um, you know, develop their strengths into real life coping strategies. So I think that it's something I've been thinking about for a while. So I, I'm looking forward to making more videos about stuff like this because I think games and video gaming is such a great metaphor for someone but if we look deeper you know we can help someone use their strengths that they already have in the game to become an awesomer person in real life because sometimes people don't see what their strengths are unless you're in the game with them unless you look at it from a different perspective we wouldn't really know how awesome and how develop someone's powers like to be a super awesome you know i'm a monk in this game like how cool my monk skills are and being a protector or a healer until we delve into the game. So I'll be looking forward to doing stuff like that and walking into mailboxes. So um, 
thank you again for watching. Thanks for the comments. And if you have any questions related to games like this and how I potentially use games to see into the lens of how someone else views their world or processes information, uh, send me a message. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.